Yeah. And I know that you build sales teams now or help other companies build their sales mm -hmm. teams. So maybe you can articulate for anybody in the audience why sales is so important. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm very clear about this um, is that, you know, there are jobs with a set income and jobs where you set your own income. And sales is a job where you set your own income, which means you have a lot bigger control over your life and your lifestyle and how you want to live it. And so I think that if, if, if any profession is out there where you truly have control and you don't have to worry about whether or not I'm going to get my one or two or 3% raise every year, you can give yourself a raise. And there are lots of different types of sales jobs. So, you know, some are hundred percent commission, some are hundred percent based with bonuses, but sales gives you some control that you don't have in other professions and other industries. And what do you say to the people that say, I'm just not a salesperson or, oh, I don't want to, you know, be a pushy car salesman and, and try and sell things to people that don't need them and people that are just wary of, of sales. Mm -hmm. um, Cause I think I was that way too. Or you're, if you're a high school student, you don't really know, you don't understand what it's like working for a B2B SaaS company mm -hmm. or something. You're, you're very naive. So I don't know any advice for those, those type of people. Yeah. And I'm a little bit on my soapbox about this currently, but I'm a little frustrated that really the entry point into B2B companies is SDR because that is a true hunter position. And I think that position, because we don't have an entry level for customer success or implementation onboarding specialist in some cases, or solution consultant, sales engineer, um, the fact that we're funneling everything through the SDR funnel frustrates me because I do think that we're losing good people who get in there and go, this is just not for me. I'm not a hunter. I'm a relationship builder, but there's, you know, there's no starter job for that. Um, what I would say to those people who think that maybe sales is for them, but feel like maybe farmer or gatherer or something else is for them. You probably are at this point, unfortunately going to have to come in through the SDR um, open door, but nobody's going to expect you to stay longer than 12 to 18 months. And there are lots of positions jumping off points from there. So all the things I've mentioned, right? Customer success, marketing, even a lot of SDR teams are under the marketing umbrella. So you may end up as an event marketer or a content marketer. Um, you may end up as an implementation or onboarding specialist. You know, you may decide that, that you love it on the other hand, and you want to go into a hundred percent commission sales, or you want to do something different. The other thing would be B2B versus B2C. Right. So, you know, just because you get into a B2B situation doesn't mean that down the road you wouldn't want to be maybe more in a B2C, like a retail type situation. So I think we don't talk enough about the all of the sales opportunities that are out there. Everybody focuses in on a few jobs within the B2B um, SaaS space. And I'm here to say, if you really, you know, if you have any inkling about wanting to control your income and own your life, then there is a sales job out there for you that fits the characteristics, the traits, the values that in the superpowers that you have. And can you maybe articulate for either companies you've worked for or consulted with what a, a day in the life of an SDR is just again, mm -hmm. to kind of dumb it down or take it back to its roots? Sure. Um, that, that definitely is the first point of contact that most um, prospects or customers, future customers will have with someone in an organization starts at the SDR level. Um, you may be doing some, um, handling some inbound leads as we call them. So people who have filled out a form on your website, I've had inbound SDRs is sometimes its own separate job, but sometimes it's a combo pack and then outbound. So you'll be sending emails. You'll be making phone calls. You'll be trying to connect with people on LinkedIn or on social. You may be again, um, asked to attend some events in order to see meet people face to face, but the, the entire existence of your SDR -dom is to help bring in prospects that have been pre-qualified by you, I call it discovery light, but pre-qualified by you that have a problem that your organization can solve that are, they are interested in solving and would be willing to spend money to do so. So you're going to set that appointment for a more senior sales professional on your team. You may be working for a one in a one-to-one -one relationship. You may be working in a one-to-four relationship, but your whole mission is to find people who have problems that your product service solves and to get them in front of a more senior sales professional in order to help them determine more completely whether or not buying your product or service would be would be you know for them and solving their problems